Kristen Crochet joins us from the second weekend of Summerfest. She's live at the Storm Chaser, and I have a feeling it's going to be very crowded tonight. Yeah, lots of people out here. It is hot. Temperatures still in the 90s late this afternoon. We do have a few passing clouds. When the cloud come by, comes by, it, uh, it feels a whole lot better than when the sun's shining right on you. Lots of people finding the, the shady spots here on the Summerfest grounds. Uh, it's still 93 in Milwaukee. It's 93 in Kenosha as well. These are our current temperatures. It's actually a little cooler if you get away from the lake. 84 degrees right now in West Bend. As far as the winds, it's helping a little. Uh, gusty southwest wind is what brought the heat for us today, but thankfully there is a little bit of a breeze here uh, this afternoon. Into this evening, it will stay a little breezy, but after sunset, those winds will start to come down. All right, we've got some showers uh, across the state and even a couple of thunderstorms. Let's zoom in here. These are just rain showers, a couple of very isolated showers moving across uh, Fond du Lac County up towards Manitowoc right now. But I would say the northern end of Dodge County, Fond du Lac and Sheboygan counties, where we're going to look for a few scattered showers this evening. I think the rest of us stay dry this evening into tonight. It's not until this cold front moves through very early tomorrow morning that we see a better chance for those scattered showers and isolated thunder showers area wide. Here's how it looks with future forecast. Again, this evening, most of us are going to stay nice and dry. Overnight is when we see those showers moving in. You see by 4 a.m. a few very spotty showers. The morning commute, you may run into a couple of these showers. You might want just an extra minute or two out the door in the morning. I could have a rumble of thunder as well. Then in the afternoon, we may see a few showers lingering down towards Walworth. We're seeing in Kenosha counties before all of that rain clears out in the afternoon. And look at this, second half of the day on Friday, looks beautiful. We'll have decreasing clouds through the second part of the day. Friday evening, if you've got some plans to head back out here to Summerfest, looking very nice. As far as the dew points go, little bit sticky tomorrow, but not too bad. Saturday, Sunday, dew points in the 50s. That's pretty good, but by Monday, you will notice an increase in humidity. All right, tonight, we're not going to cool off much. 70 is our overnight low. Uh, tomorrow, high temperature of 77 much, much more comfortable than today. All right, your seven day forecast, 80s over the weekend. will be a little warmer away from the lake. And then as we look at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you see that chance for some showers, even some thunderstorms, increasing confidence that we turn to a more active and more wet pattern as we head into next week. So check back with us for updates over the next couple of days if those showers and storms could impact your 4th of July plans. More news still ahead, we'll be right back.